If you see my most recent video about the G7 economy and the BRICS economy, you're wondering how you're going to survive the shift or furthermore, the collapse of the US dollar. And so in this video, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on how you can do that. Welcome to the channel. My name is Ashley. On my channel, Ashley in Africa, I talk about my experience living, moving, and doing business here on the continent. I'm also the founder of the Africa Investors Academy, a community of entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, and investors who are doing business here on the continent of Africa and investing in products here on the continent. So if that sounds interesting to you, please be sure to like the channel, like this content and subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to tell you three things that I think you can do to survive the USD collapse. If you're living in the US or even if you're living outside of the US. And this is really important for folks living outside of the US because we've been really comfortable with the strength of the USD in foreign markets. And we need to be creative and shift our thinking around how we can push through this, right? So number one, establishing banking accounts in other countries. So for most of us, if we're living abroad, we've decided to continue to keep our U.S. banks available, transferring money, using mobile money, or doing things that are super convenient. And now is more important than ever to have local banks and local banking relationships. So there are ways you can establish bank accounts, even if you're not a resident of a country, but if you're living in a country or you're doing business in that country or you frequent that country, you wanna make sure that you have currency in that local country in which you're residing or spending most of your time. The next thing is investing in assets that will produce foreign income right what does that mean well does that mean you have uh, maybe some short-term rentals or some tourism opportunities in these countries in which you're operating where you know it is going to attract multiple foreign currencies so you can be paid in other currencies other than usd right that is a great way to do it so for example some of the projects that we're researching here in zanzibar tanzania um, for our africa investors academy summit are short-term real estate opportunities short-term rentals where we can market it year-round to foreign travelers from all around the world right sounds simple enough but it's actually not that simple unless you're doing that research and you're spending time in the markets that are going to allow you to attract foreign currency. And if you have an interest in understanding more about that, please be sure to visit the link below, Ashley in Africa, Africa Investors Academy, to learn more about our membership community as well as the summit that we're hosting here in Zanzibar in August um, 2023. All right, and the last thing that is absolutely very critical in this global economy that we're living in is... All right, and the last thing that is absolutely very critical in this global economy that we're living in is attract global clients. Be in a position and position yourself to be able to provide value to people from all over the world, whether that's freelancing, as a writer, as a researcher, as a media personality, as an expert in your field where you can provide value to people from all over the world. This is something that I've inadvertently done just through establishing my YouTube channel, studying the economic environment of multiple African countries, and thus I'm able to attract um, a community of people from all over the world who have interest in the content and the information that I'm sharing. So how can you do this as a writer, as a, as a freelancer, as a teacher, as an industry expert, 
that knows what you know better than anyone else. There is no one like you that can provide the service that you provide. So position yourself as an expert to receive and attract clients from all over the world sharing content on YouTube, sharing content on LinkedIn, sharing content through email lists, social media. It's the best way and a free way to build your client and your customer base. So I hope that was helpful. These are three things that I'm doing and three things that you can absolutely do as an American, as a person earning USD currency to avoid as much as possible being a victim of the USD collapse. So I hope that was helpful. Please be sure to like this content, share it with someone else who would find value in it and subscribe to the channel. Until the next video, I'll see you soon.